Hello my lovelies. Just wanted to pop on with a tiny haul today but mainly I wanted to tell you about a new website that I've been using. I don't actually know how new the website is in general but it is definitely new to me. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way. This website has no idea that I exist. I just came across them and really love them. And I've just been a little bit addicted lately uh, to browsing on there so I wanted to talk to you guys about it uh, and show you a couple of the things that I found. So the website is called World of Books and it exclusively sells secondhand books. The prices are all over the place depending on the item and the seller but I have had a lot of good luck with it. Uh, there is free shipping I think think internationally, I think worldwide, but there's definitely free shipping to Australia, which is just excellent. So in the past, if I have been shopping for used books online, I've used something like Abe Books or eBay, and they're still great resources, but I definitely find World of Books, um, especially if we're comparing it to Abe Books, a uh, better interface, I find. I find it easier to find what I'm looking for. I find it easier to create a cart and a wish list and it's just uh, a little bit more user friendly I think. They've got the widest variety that I've ever found online of used books. There are used editions of sort of very contemporary new books. There are rare editions of lots of older books. There are things that are out of print. My wish list on there is just filled with out of print books that are uh, a little bit too pricey for me to just be hitting that checkout button straight away. And obviously it is a used book site. They don't have endless copies of things. So if you see something you really want, it is best if you can afford it to get it when you see it because it may not be there when you come back. But I've had so much fun browsing around and looking at their different options. Uh, I picked up a few vintage editions of books that I adore. None of these are in perfect condition, none of them uh, came with their dust jackets, so they were all quite inexpensive. Um, they're obviously not worth a lot as a collector, but they're worth something to me since they are books that I love. I found this copy of The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, little illustrated end papers as well as illustration plates. So this edition is from September 1943. So I mean 32 years after the original publication, so like nowhere near a first edition, but just a little edition that I liked the look of. I think this was under $20. I was happy to pay this for it, um, just to have it as part of my collection. I also found this edition of Paddington Bear. This has the first two volumes of the Paddington Bear stories in it. So it has a bear called Paddington and more about Paddington, but I just thought it was a lovely little hardcover edition. I couldn't resist the little uh, embossed gold Paddington on the front. Sort of particularly this year, I've fallen in love with the Paddington books. I've listened to them all on audiobook, uh, either read, half of them were read by Stephen Fry and the other half by Hugh Bonneville and they're just glorious. Uh, so I just couldn't resist this. I thought it was too beautiful. And I think I paid a similar price as I did for Secret Garden. And then I found this International Collector's Library edition of How Green Was My Valley by Richard Llewellyn. Just a nice little hardcover edition. It's green end papers. It's got a ribbon bookmark. I adore How Green Was My Valley. It's one of my favorite books. And there aren't many editions to pick from these days. And I just... I've been longing for a hardcover edition, so when I saw this, I couldn't resist snapping it up. Completely love having this on my, my bookshelves. And the biggest thing that I've been searching around for actually on this site that I found it really useful for, um, I will say if you were to look this up now, there's not much on there because I've snapped up most of what they had. But I recently discovered uh, these annuals, the picture show annuals, that I am obsessed with at the moment. So The Picture Show was a weekly magazine in the UK, a uh, movie magazine. I think it ran from about, I think it was 1919 until mid 60s. And I don't know when the annuals started being made. This is the earliest one I have. This is from 1927. And obviously they release these every year. Um, and I am just obsessed with them. They're these gorgeous hardcover annuals. They go over sort of the highlights of the film year. 
there are beautiful photos and articles I am a huge lover of early cinema um, sort of you know early through mid-century I I love that era of movie making and these are absolutely stunning I also love them as sort of inspiration and reference because I love illustrating in a more vintage style so these pictures are just pure creative energy for me I love them this one's from 1941 they're just stunning I just adore them I wish I could figure out which was the like what year these annuals started in there's just not much information that I can find online I don't know if 1927 was the first year that the actual annual was produced I know the magazines were from 1919 but I definitely want to get as many of these as I can manage I have about a dozen of them this one from 1938 is stunning Fred and Ginger in the front there there's just oh, they're so beautiful there's so many lovely articles And most of these are in fantastic condition, like so, so beautiful. This one's from 1928. So stunning. 1932. I just, I love them. So the prices for those were sort of all over the place, but I don't think I paid sort of over $30, $35 for one. And I think the cheapest I got was maybe about $17. I've definitely found a couple more on eBay and places like that, but, but I'm definitely on the hunt for as many as I can find. I just think they're lovely. They're just beautiful little pieces of history that I just enjoy owning. But whether you're looking for legitimate vintage books like I've been doing, or if you just want to uh, maybe find a good deal on a book that you're currently looking for, I definitely do recommend having a browse around on World of Books. But just in case you guys hadn't heard of it, I did just want to share this site with you because I am kind of obsessed. If any of you have used it, definitely let me know in the comments how you found it, if you've had good experiences. I've only had good experiences so far. Um, I haven't had to wait too long for shipping. Everything's been packaged fine and I have agreed with, um, like each listing will sort of say if it's like, you know, good quality, acceptable, like what condition the book is in and I've pretty much agreed with their assessment usually found things to be in even better condition than they stated so i've been pretty happy with that so far so that's it for now just a quick little bookish video just to show you a couple of things that i've picked up recently that i'm excited for i uh, hope you enjoyed this thank you for tuning in i will see you guys soon